So here's an update on my back situation. Um, <clears throat> you know, I really appreciate everybody giving me support and, um, you know, just generally love and support and well wishes and, you know, your opinions and suggestions. We're having uh, people working on the house today because uh, our water line has a major leak and um, and they're also fixing the siding so I'm kind of just watching out for somebody. Um, I don't like being here alone with strange men around the house. But, um, anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, I just want to thank y'all and uh, tell you what's going on. Um, yesterday, you know, the pain... It, it just got too unbearable. So I called my uh, PCP and I told him what was going on. You know, you have to leave a message and his nurse will call you back. So, you know, I just told him that um, I was in a whole lot of pain. I can't take NSAIDs since I had surgery and Tylenol's not helping. I've been to two chiropractors and uh, my pain is just getting worse. So, um, she called me back and uh, she's like, well, you know, what do you want? And I'll call it into your pharmacy. So, um, I, I, you know, I just told her something to take the edge off so I can live. You know, I didn't care what it was. And um, so he prescribed um, prednisone and um, Lortab. So, last night, about 6.30, I finally got relief. And I love having my intestines rerouted because I cut the lower tab up in small pieces and 20 minutes later, I felt it. So, um, I mean, it made the pain manageable. It didn't go away, but it made it manageable. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I also got on the treadmill yesterday before... Um, they called me in some medicine thinking that walking would help. Um, it was excruciating for the first 15 minutes. It, you know, I was practically crying. It hurt so bad. But, uh, once I got into the rhythm of things and tried to quit thinking about it, it got better. Um, but as soon as I stepped off that treadmill, my back just seized up and started spasming and I couldn't walk and... I had to lay down in uh, my chair, and my husband got home, and he saw me. He's like, oh, God, you know, I take it your back's still hurting. So, um, I couldn't move for a while. But, um, you know, when I was on the treadmill, I realized how far I've come 80-something pounds ago. Because, um, you know, I took it at a slow pace, and I... I wasn't trying to work up a sweat or anything or actually just work out. I was just trying to, you know, get movement. And um, so I walked at about two and a half miles per hour. And 80 something pounds ago when I first started out, I could only go like 2.2 .2 miles per hour and I was still gasping for breath. And um, I mean, I wasn't gasping for breath. I felt like I was walking like an old woman, and it's just amazing how far I've come. And um, I'm really glad that I was reminded of that yesterday, uh, because it's, it's getting kind of disappointing, because, like I said yesterday, the scale isn't moving at all. Um, but it doesn't really matter what the skill says, right? I mean, as long as I'm feeling comfortable in my body, I'm feeling healthy, I'm doing everything right, I'm eating healthy, other than the snacking that I've been doing the past few days. Um, you know, I'm doing everything right. So, I mean, there's nothing else I can do except start exercising more and drink more water. And, um, so I'm going to start doing that. I've got a month before my sister's wedding to fit into my dress and look good. So, uh, yeah, I'm, 
I'm going to work my ass off once I feel better. Um, I just got back from the grocery store, <clears throat> and um, I got little individual things of uh, no sugar added fruit cups, and I love individual things because, you know, you have your serving right there. You have your calories and everything spelled out for you. Um, what I do, I use, you know, I use Spark People and Fit Day and I think ExtraPounds.com. But, you know, most of that stuff is just too tedious to sit there and put it in. So, I normally use my Excel spreadsheets. I've been using them since day one. And, um, you know, I track my weight and everything like that with a graph and stuff. Because, you know, I'm a scientist pretty much. And that's how I roll. And, um, <clears throat> and I do the same with calories and everything like that. I mean, I put down what it is and then... You know, in the columns, I have calories, fat, blah, 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 blah. And then on another worksheet, I'll put um, today, like what I had to eat today. And I'll just list everything and pretty much just copy and paste so everything falls in line. And then I just hit sum at the bottom, you know, the sum total. And um, it'll give me my totals for everything for the day. And I hadn't been doing that the past two weeks. I don't know why. But uh, I'm getting started on that again today. Um, I gotta take some pain medicine. I haven't taken any today. Um, stupid, stupid me. I hadn't. So I gotta do that. And um, just lay down a minute. <clears throat> um, yesterday. We watched Sweeney Todd. I'm a huge fan of Sweeney Todd. I love musicals to begin with. It's my favorite genre of entertainment. And um, we didn't get to go see it when it came to theaters. I'm not sure why. I think it's because of Christmas and finals and doing Christmas crap and everything. But um, so I finally got to see it last night and it's amazing. I love it. It's wonderful. So I've got to own that. Of course, I mean, I should have bought it instead of rented it. Um, but that pleased me. Like, and the night before, I watched The Wizard of Oz. And, um, I don't know. The Wizard of Oz, somebody asked me, what special occasions do you watch it on? Because I had mentioned that I just watched the movie on special occasions. Because, you know, if you watch your favorite thing over and over again, you're going to get burned out, and it's not going to be as special. So, the other night, you know, I, I watch Wizard of Oz when I'm sick, pretty much. Or, um, you know, I'll, I'll watch it maybe twice a year. And the other night I watched it, and it just made me feel so much better. I was still in pain, but, I don't know, it made me really happy. And I could forget about the pain for a little bit. So, um... And, you know, I have a feeling Sweeney Todd's going to be like that, too. But, anyway, I'm just rambling, and uh, I'm about to uh, have to get something to eat and stuff. Um, it's really hot today. I'm wearing short sleeves and shorts, and I'm burning up. And um, I think it's fixing to storm or something, because it's majorly hot outside. But, anyway, um, I'm going to go. I just wanted to let y'all know what was going on and everything like that. Um, so, yeah. And I just, you know, want to thank all of y'all for everything that you do for me. You know, because, you know, I pretty much give support out to people. And here's a time where I need support. And, you know, all of y'all are supporting and helping me. And I just, I love y'all for that. Thank you so much. Um, so I'll talk to y'all later.